Hey guys, it's Roxy at Pink Robot, and I'm teaching y'all how to make a simpler uh, premise line. It's basically a premise line without a vector. So yeah, anyway, so what you want to do is on your keyboard, press Control J, and you'll get a layer just like your just like your first layer. Like it's a it's a copy. Click on your bottom layer, make three new layers. Double click on your top layer, stroke, size 2, color, white, press OK. On your keyboard again, control E, double click again, stroke, size 2, gradient, and basically you just keep on doing it. Then go down to your bottom layer, make a new layer, then click on your bottom layer again. Get your paint bucket tool, then paint the background. On your middle layer, get your polynomial lasso tool, whatever you call it, and just do your little zigzags. If you go too fast, it'll, yeah, so, Oh my god! It always happens to me, I'm sorry guys. Alright, once you get that, get your paint bucket tool, then fill in the, yeah, that, and then you just do the same thing, the same stroke as you did with the site model pick. Double click on that, duplicate layer, bring it down. Double click, make it size 4, gradient, duplicate, bring it down. Scan lines, drop shadow, and we want to do is hide. The top, the top layer and the bottom layer, 
and then right click merge visible that would put all those layers into one and then you have that then double click in the middle layer pattern I'm going to choose brass knuckles wait I made a mistake don't do that don't merge them double click on your top layer then pattern overlay choose your pattern then gradient overlay then choose your gradient don't press ok I accidentally did and then on your gradient mode or gradient overlay choose the type of um, setting you would like you know what I forgot to tell y'all you gotta make the background a white you gotta make it a white it has to be a white no matter what or else your things won't show up perfectly alright after you got that press ok Click on your rectangular tool and then just click anywhere so you can get rid of that. Okay. Then hide the last layer and the top layer. Click on your. Um, click on one of the other layers and then just merge them visible. And then you can do that. Okay. And then on your bottom layer, go to pattern overlay. Let's choose something very light. Like, I'm gonna do these because I really like them. I'm gonna make them um, that. I'm gonna look like that a little bit. Okay? Then, if you want to make it glittery, you can always just press on filter, noise, add noise. Ooh, I like that now. Yeah. It's gonna be like that. Press OK. And then what you do is you merge them all together and then you do your text. Obviously you already know how to do your text, so I don't really have to do it for you. But yeah, that's how you make a preppy simple sign or a simple preppy sign, whatever. However you say it, I don't know. I don't care. I'm like in a bad mood today, so sorry, I'm a little yeah. But if this worked, then just say it. If it didn't, then I'll make a new one because this one's kind of crappy. So hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching.